In the previous video, we built this resource class for getting more information about our post objects. We built the observe post method inside the post view model for doing the Rx query and returning live data to the UI in post fragment. And uh, we have this subscribe observers method that's retrieving the data and just kind of printing it to the log for now. But uh, now it's time to actually use that data for something. We're going to build the recycler view for displaying the list of posts. And this is a this is a pretty advanced course, I would say. So I'm going to do a lot of copy pasting here because I don't think there's a lot of value in me sitting here and building everything to do with a recycle view. All of you should know what a recycle view is and how to set one up and how to build a layout for one and all that good stuff. So the first thing is I'm going to copy the layout for the recycle view. So I'm just copying this, going into Android Studio. I'm going to call it Layout Post List Item. So I'm going into Android Studio. Uh, going into the res directory, going into layout, right clicking, going to new, going to layout, uh, what was it, post list item. And of course, now I'm just going to go to the text tab and paste that in. So there's our layout for our recycler view. I'm going to close some of these classes. Next is I'm going to copy paste some more stuff. I'm going to go back to main, go to Java. And I'm going to pay, uh, copy paste the recycle view adapter. So I'm going into UI, going into main, going to posts, and copying the posts recycler view adapter. So I can copy actually all the imports too. So I'm going to copy all of that, go back to Android Studio, and I'm going to create that, that class. So post package inside main UI, go to new Java class, posts recycler adapter is what I'll call it. And I'm going to copy paste that in. And uh, there we go. So that is trying to import the main scope, which we haven't created yet. And it says it can't find that. Oh, I, I named it wrong. It's posts recycler view adapter. So I need to add an S there. Uh, so this is giving me a warning. Did I name that file wrong? Layout post list item. So it's got to be layout post list item. So I'm refactoring that, renaming it to layout post list item. There we go. So there, there's our adapter. And uh, I want to add some spacing to the list items in our recycle view also. So I'm going to use a vertical uh, item decorator. Otherwise, the list items are going to be you know, very close together. And this is just going to improve the look of it a little bit. I know it doesn't really matter, but uh, kind of just a, a habit of mine. So I'm going into the util package, going to copy this vertical space item decoration class. So I'm going to copy that going back to Android Studio. I know you love copy pasting, so don't worry. I got you. I got you under control here. Uh, going, I got all the copy pasting handled. Uh, so vertical spacing item decoration, and I'm going to paste that in. And I named it wrong <laughs> again. Vertical space. Oh, vertical spacing. Vertical spacing item decoration. Vertical spacing item decoration. There we go. So we have our three new classes that I have very skillfully copy pasted into the project and now we're ready to use them um, if 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 you're watching this course and for some reason you don't know how to set up a recycle view which i don't think that's going to be the case for any of you here uh, you can uh, i have videos on creating recycle views you can go to my blog uh, you know i have horizontal recycle views staggered recycle views if you go to the second page there's recycle view on click listener recycle views all these blog posts i have videos uh, lots of resources for figuring out how to use a recycle view, but I'm assuming all of you already know how to do all this. All right, so now we're now we're going to start the cool stuff for this video. So I'm closing all those classes. Uh, now I'm going to create the adapter as a dependency inside of the main package. So I'm going into the main module and I'm going to create a new dependency. So at provides, this is going to be static. It's going to be a recycler, recycler, uh, or is it? No, it's post recycler adapter post. Recycler adapter. Uh, you can call it provide adapter, uh, adapter, and uh, it doesn't need to take any input. And then just return new post recycler adapter. So that's going to allow us to inject the adapter as a dependency. Pretty cool. You know, you're not going to get a huge performance improvement or anything from this, but uh, why not inject dependencies whenever you can? Is what I think. And uh, there's no need to create a new adapter every time. It's nothing changes. The data in it will change, which is fine. It has nothing to do with the adapter. So injecting it as a dependency, I think, is a good idea. So now I'm going to go into posts fragments, and I'm going to inject this adapter. 
So at inject, like we've done before, and this is going to be a post recycler adapter, and I'll just call it adapter. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom of the file, and I'm going to create a new method named private void init recycler view. If you've watched a lot of my courses, you know that I always create an init recycler view method, just kind of uh, just kind of what I do. So set the layout manager, new linear layout manager, pass this. Uh, I think, oh, need get activity because we're inside of a fragment, so get activity. Uh, now I need to instantiate that vertical spa spacing item decoration. Item decoration equals new vertical spacing item decoration. I'm going to pass spacing of 15, recycler view dot add item decoration, add the item decoration, and then recycle view dot set that adapter. So setting that adapter. Now I'm going to call that method up here in on view created, and I'm going to call it before the subscribe observers method. So the recycle view is going to get set up, and then we're going to subscribe the observers and get the data. So now the last part of this video is actually getting the data and setting it to the adapter. So I'm going to write a switch statement. We're going to switch the resource status, just like we did with the auth and auth activity when we were switching the auth status. Uh, so we have a couple, couple cases here. The first one is the loading case, and then we have two more cases. Uh, the first one is success, and the second and the last one is, is uh, error. So success and error, error. So now what do we want to do here? Well, in the loading status, just for now, I'm going to print a log that says loading dot dot dot. Inside of the success case, I want to do, I don't know, got the posts dot dot dot, meaning that the posts are retrieved. And I want to do adapter set posts, and then I need to get that data. So list resource dot data. And in the error case, I'm going to print a log, so log E, and uh, I can just say, you know, error dot dot dot. Uh, since that's what I've been doing and then I need to print the message so list resource dot message and uh, That's generally it. I can't remember if um, If later in the course I come back and I show the progress bar for all this. I'm assuming that I do uh, I did we create one in a base activity. No, we didn't um, Base fragment. Sorry. Anyway, so later I can't remember if we come back and show the progress bar for this loading status or anything like that but this is going to get the data. It's going to set it to the recycle view and you know, set up all the recycle view stuff. So now we can run this and take a look and see if it's working. All right, so there we have the app. I'm going to log in with a user. And there's post fragment. And it's able to retrieve the posts. I'm going to actually log out and log in with a different user just to make sure that the posts are different. And those are definitely different. So the second one is qui est esse. If that's, uh, it's just random text and uh, notice that it's different. So yeah, we're getting different posts for different users. And uh, so that's that's going to be it for this video. We are, we're nearing the end of the course. And the last things that I want to do are number one is set up the navigation using the navigation components library. So if I was to run the finished version of the app, which is this one right here, we have all of this nice navigation that's set up. So I can click the nav drawer, go to the profile, which I'm already at, I can go to posts, that'll inflate the post fragment, we have this cool back arrow up here that like does this transition thing. Uh, pretty cool stuff. And it's a definitely it's a superior way to navigate your apps from what I can see. Anyway, I'm pretty new to the navigation components library right now as of right now. But it seems really cool. Like there's a lot of issues with fragment transactions and the way that uh, things used to be done and the navigation components library seems to solve a lot of those problems. So pretty cool. I'm excited to kind of showcase it in this course. Uh, and then after we set up the navigation and all that stuff, then I'm going to define some custom scopes and apply them to the two sub components that we have. So that's main component and, and uh, auth component. So um, that's going to be you know auth component, main component. We're going to apply custom scopes, create custom scopes. I'm going to talk about scoping and all that stuff because I know a lot of you are confused about scoping. So I'm going to clear up all of your confusion.